All right, guys, let's tackle this like thin surf area where the spill out of the waves and the crushing. <clears throat> so it's very muted, but we also have tons of hints of our sky color in there. So let's see um, about the colors we mixed for that when we went over it. Um, it's looking okay at the moment. Like I definitely want to incorporate a little more of the water, the cooler um, value in here. But for right now, I'm just trying to uh, thin this out and to spread this paint around. So I actually have, it's not a bad color, but it's something to work with. Also have, if you actually look at the image, you have a, uh, slightly lighter value, which is cooler, which might help us at the base, like that. And we do have a, uh, we did make some more of a beige that might be more suited. It's like a hybrid between the two. My image is looking a lot darker. Like you see how we added that highlight in the sky. Like maybe we need to add that highlight here um, right now. So that's what I'm thinking as I'm painting this and seeing it for the first time as well. And what and how we did that was we just all we did was mix white with Naples yellow and a little bit of the alizarin, like just as smidgiest amount so I'm going to come back in kind of hint at some of that while leaving some of the other values alone so you want to avoid just making one great big smear. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm going to leave what I have a lot, smear some, but you don't want to smear over the whole thing. And I say smear, we're not smearing. Everything we do is intentional. I feel like smearing is a non-intentional, haphazard thing, which we do want a little bit of all that, but we want to be even intentional in what we're doing. Like, you can be haphazard at first, but then understand what that stroke just did to your painting. Um, I might we come back in with that sky color again. That's a little bit warmer, and I could add it. I could add a few hints over it in some places that doesn't make it makes it definitely look a lot intentional very intentional um i would uh what time we got boss 337 all right so let's uh we do have the color of the peach i say we try to tackle that like i'm really just wanting this is the darkest value Really hadn't cleaned off my brush that well. That's why you see this lighter stuff going on. And go into something lighter. That's not even that light. Uh, I can go back into the sky color, like the darker version of the sky color. Even if I hint at it a little bit, like just get it on the canvas, some of it, I don't have to do a bunch, but you see how it's starting to tie in all of it? Just because we've used the same colors kind of over and over. I'm trying to hold it because I'm... Go back, I can go back into my dark, I can tackle some of the dark here if I wish. 
fill it in the corner. I kind of like the water right now. I mean the sand area. So I might just leave that. That's, I feel like it's working as a whole. It's yep. grill looks it. great. If you ever wanted to like even hit or miss like just a little bit like just you can tap you can tap other colors every now and then into the area and it'll bring um it'll make these stages flow a little bit better it's just a little gold nugget you don't have to do much at all because you would never even notice but even just a little bit. We'll carry it a long, long way. All right, and then let's, what time we got on this video? Uh, six. <clears throat> Wonderful. So I can go back in to like uh, my phone color and try to hint at the phone up, up front. see me I'm just trying to get a lot of the paint that I had on my brush off of my brush that's why I was turning it over and over 